This is about what 25 feet looks like. That's the minimum distance police say they need to identify and respond to a threat. But civil liberties advocates say this could provide an opportunity to shield misconduct from view. The bill's author says police increasingly have to divide their attention between investigations and trying to control bystanders. Many of these encounters between police and civilians do not place, take place inside a divine, defined area marked off with barrier tape. Two of the necessary items to be able to escalate any situation are time and distance. Under the bill, if you come within 25 feet of an officer at an active crime scene and you don't back up when they tell you to, you could face up to 60 days in jail and up to a $500 fine. Police say that's a reasonable buffer zone. The 21 foot rule that most police officers are taught at the academy uh, nationwide is the distance that a police officer or any person needs that when a bladed weapon is presented to take a look at that threat, decide what you're going to do and act. Um, the 21 foot gives us the, the necessary time and it's, it's not every time either. Civil liberties groups point out Indiana already has laws against interfering with a police investigation. They note cell phone video taken by bystanders at close range has helped convict police officers in multiple high profile misconduct cases. If you're in a close space like this room right next to us, um, a police officer could order somebody out of view of what's going on even under this law and so it would hinder their ability to um, record. The measure passed the Senate Criminal Code Committee on a party line vote and now heads to the full Senate. It already passed the House. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.